Hey guys, this is Night Flame, and today, guys, I will be reviewing X Men ninety two, issue number two. Um, yeah, guys, uh, issue number one was completely worthy, or not like worthy, but wordy. Like there was a lot of words, and um, yeah, uh, I was expecting better from issue number two. So what did I think about issue number two? And by the way, spoilers will happen. So um, yeah, let's open up the comic and let's see where it begins. So the comic begins with. And I guess it's separated into different parts. Uh, basically, last issue, we got our heroes. They were, you know, seated in this kind of, like, place where uh, our villain... Oh, I forgot her name. She's weird, though. She's, um... Cassandra Nova. She ended up putting things in their heads, and she started testing them. And the test was basically to find out if um, the heroes were, you know... I guess worthy for her thing or unworthy for her, you know, I guess peaceful mutant organization. And uh first he tests his Wolverine and Wolverine he is a little bit um how do I say it? He's he, at first he's a little crazy and then somehow uh Cassandra Nova ends up making him peaceful. She ends up, you know, I guess changing his whole persona and making him happy. And uh, he's one of the approved subjects. And then we get Storm. She, you know, doesn't want to listen to Cassandra Nova. She is one of the rejected, you know, patients. And then um, we get Beast. And Cassandra Nova completely rejects Beast. Even though Beast is, you know, really human. She just rejects him for being a beast. And uh, what's her face? Uh, Rogue and Gambit end up being accepted because, you know, their love... They end up waiting until marriage to, I guess, show affection to each other or something. Um, thanks to Cassandra Nova. And, yeah, they get approved. But uh, while this is going on, we see um, Jubilee here. She is she, she found, I guess, the place where all the rejected subjects go. And uh, I'm betting that she's going to cause a rebellion with them. So, you know, they, I guess, do something. But... Uh, yeah, I'm betting that's what's going to happen. And at the end of the issue, we see the Uncanny X for find that Xavier has been killed. And, um, yeah, they're going to get revenge for that. So, um, yeah, what did I think of uh, issue number two of Uncanny X? I mean, X-Men 92. I was disappointed by this. I was completely disappointed by this again. Um, yeah, I won't be picking up number three. Not even Deadpool could be the saving grace for this series. Um, for fans... I think, you know, you might get something out of this, but I just didn't. I saw some episodes some episodes of the T V series, but um yeah, I just didn't get anything out of this. It it is so wordy, like there's a lot of words. And um I felt like, you know, it took me thirty minutes to read this and you know, it's the same thing as uh, watching an episode and comics shouldn't feel like this. You know, I like short comics, sometimes I like wordy comics when they're trades, but um when there's something like this, no way. I just, I couldn't, it was so long. I was like, okay, okay, okay. Um, there was a lot of useless dialogue. Um, I don't know, I just, I love the concept of this, but it's just not going well. The, I don't know, I just didn't like it. It was too long. Uh, the art is okay, but sometimes it feels a little bit rushed. So, I don't know, X-Men 92, I gave a five out of 10 and um yeah i think you guys should skip this it's a five dollar issue it's too worthy and uh, you know the thing that sucks about this is that this is a digital first and marvel tries to make that you know uh, worth your money because if you're paying 99 cents for i guess one quarter of this book um they want you to get you know a buck or i guess you, your money's worth uh so I think if you read this digitally, you get more out of it because you're reading it in a quarter and that doesn't feel so compact. It doesn't feel so like in your face, like, oh, you're reading so much at the same time. So I think reading quarter by quarter by quarter, you know, it feels easier, like a breeze. So um, it sucks that Marvel, I guess, did it this way. They should have made this, I guess, bi-weekly or something or two times, I mean, by monthly, two times a month, release it. So we get two parts and it doesn't feel so much, to, you know, to take. So um. Like I said, 5 out of 10, and I think you should skip it. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like this video. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, and have a nice day, guys. Goodbye.